Solve this quadratic equation by completing the square method. My first step is to see whether the coefficient of x square is 1 or not. If it is not, we will make it 1 by dividing the entire equation with this 2. So I will get x square plus 8 divided by 2 is 4x minus 10 divided by 2 is 5. My next step is to shift the constant term negative 5 on the another side. It will become plus 5. Now, I need to add a number on both the sides of equal to and what that number would be. Always remember that number is always coefficient of x divided by 2 whole square. Always. So what is the coefficient of x? It's 4. So it's 4 divided by 2 whole square on both the sides. Now it becomes x square plus 4x. What is 4 divided by 2? It's 2 whole square equals 5 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 square. Now, this left side can be written as the perfect square of two terms. Which two terms? x, x and this term. Always this term. So, it's x plus 2 whole square. That is why this method is called completing the square method because at this step, I have written left hand side as the square of the binomial x plus 2 equals 5 plus 2 square is 4. So, x plus 2 whole square equals 9. To get rid of this square root, let's take square root on both the sides. Equals square root of 9. Whenever we take the square root of any number, it, we always have two versions, plus and minus. So, this gets cancelled. I get x plus 2 as plus minus 3. Now, this will give me two equations. x plus 2 is plus 3. x plus 2 is minus 3. So, let's solve this. x becomes this 2 shifted to that side will become minus. So, x is 1. This is my one of the solution. And over here, this plus 2 shifted that side minus 2. So, x is minus 5. So, x equals 1 and x equals minus 5 are my two solutions of this quadratic equation. That's it.